Here on Good Day Wisconsin, we love to provide you with great recipes and uh, just delicious treats that you can make at any time. And today we're kind of thinking about the Super Bowl. And Liz McKelfie from the um, Texas Roadhouse in Ishwabanon joins us. Good morning. Good morning, Angela. So right now you're going to show us how to make something called uh, rattlesnake bites. Right. In the restaurant, we call them rattlesnake bites. This is kind of a home version of jalapeno poppers. I'm going to have you help me out here. Okay. You're going to want to put some gloves on because you're dealing with jalapeno peppers and they're kind of spicy. Gotcha. You're going to cut the end off of this pepper, cut it down the middle, and just turn it into a boat like this one. And while you're doing that, I'm going to prepare our egg wash. And which we all know is just egg in a little bit of water, right? It's going to, well, actually this one has a little bit more in it than that. Oh, it does. Okay. We're going to put a little egg and some milk, a little Parmesan cheese, some salt and pepper. and a tablespoon of flour. Yeah, that's definitely more complex than just an egg yeah, and water. Do not just a little bit more. Listen to Liz, do not listen to me. And we're gonna mix that up. And then when you have your boats ready. I have my boats ready. We are going to just take a little bit of jack cheese. We're using jack cheese. Okay. Mold it in your gloves or in your hands. Ooh, so this is kind of fun. And just stuff it into your boat. Okay. So should I do this one? Or is it, are we doing sure, all the boats separately? Sure, do all four. Okay. each one individually. Now we're using jack cheese, but if you want to spice things up, you know, use a little uh, pepper jack or maybe even a little manchego, which mm. is a Mexican cheese. Sure. Or um, cheddar would be fine. So we're going to take these boats and we're going to put them into egg wash. Okay. And then we're going to dredge them in some all-purpose breading. All-purpose breading. Right. You can use breadcrumbs, seasoned or unseasoned or fine. You might even want to put uh, maybe a little chili powder or a little cumin. Yeah, just kind of jazz it just up a little bit. Just to jazz it up a little bit. You have friends who like spicy food or you have people who don't like so spicy. Mm -hmm. You know, either way. And, you know, once you take the seeds and, uh, and the ribs out of the jalapenos, they're really not that, that spicy. I think a lot of people get a little intimidated when they hear jalapeno. I think you're right. And I'll tell you um, from experience, we ate some this morning already to make sure they <laughs> tasted good. And um, without the ribs and seeds, they're not that hot. I like your Now, thinking. this is really important. What you're going to do after you've filled your boats... <laughs> She's making a mess in our kitchen. After you've filled your boats, is you need to freeze them. Okay. How long? At least a half an hour. At least a half an hour. And you now, have some that have we've got some frozen. cold ones already. Okay. And we're just going to uh, put them in the oil. You're going to slide those in the oil. Be careful. We did bring some tongs for you. Okay. Um, how do you want to get the oil up to a certain temperature or anything? Uh, or? 350. 350. If you have a fry daddy or if you have um, a deep. A, if you're lucky enough to have a countertop deep fryer, mm -hmm. that would work great. Otherwise, we're long? just using a deep frying pan with some vegetable oil. It takes about two to two and a half minutes to fry them. And these and are the finished. this is how they come out. Delicious. Look awesome. We'll get the recipe on our website, and you'll be joining us more with later. Thank you yes, so much, Liz. Thank you, Angela. Good day, Wisconsin. We'll be right back.